Seventh grade, unit two, lesson seven, comparing relationships with tables. Number one, decide whether each table could represent a proportional relationship. If the relationship could be proportional, what would the constant of proportionality be? A, how loud a sound is depending on how far away you are. This is a ratio of five to 85. This is a ratio of 10 to 79. This is a ratio of 20 to 73. And this is a ratio of 40 to 67. These are not proportional because the ratio of distance to listener to sound level is not equivalent every time. B, the cost of fountain drinks at Hot Dog Hut. A ratio of 16 ounces to $1.49. 20 ounces to $1.59 and 30 ounces to $1.89. These are not proportional because the ratio of volume to cost is not equivalent each time. Number two, a taxi service charges $1 for the first one-tenth of a mile, then 10 cents for each additional one-tenth mile after that. Fill in the table with the missing information, then determine if this relationship between the distance traveled and the price of the trip is a proportional relationship. When the distance traveled is nine-tenths of a mile, that's the same as one-tenth plus eight-tenths. And that one-tenth could be considered one dollar for the first tenth of a mile. And the eight-tenths of a mile would be considered eight dimes or 80 cents. So one dollar plus 80 cents is a dollar 80. The taxi would charge a dollar 80 to go nine-tenths of a mile. When the distance traveled is two miles, that's the same as 20 tenths. And one of those tenths would be used for the first tenth of a mile, which would be one dollar, leaving 19 tenths left over, or 19 dimes. And 19 dimes is a dollar 90. So one dollar for the first tenth added to a dollar 90 would be a total of two dollars and 90 cents to travel two miles. When the distance traveled is three and one tenth mile, that's the same as 31 tenths of a mile. The first tenth would be one dollar, leaving 30 tenths left over, or 30 dimes. And 30 dimes is three dollars. So one dollar plus three dollars is four dollars. To travel three and one tenth mile, it would cost four dollars. When the distance traveled is 10 miles, that's the same as 100 tenths. And the first tenth would cost one dollar, leaving 99 tenths left over, which is the same as 99 dimes. And 99 dimes is equivalent to nine dollars and ninety cents. So one dollar plus nine dollars and ninety cents would equal ten dollars and ninety cents. So when the distance traveled is ten miles, the taxi would charge ten dollars and ninety cents. Now we need to determine if the relationship between the distance traveled and the price of the trip is a proportional relationship. This is not a proportional relationship because the ratio of price to distance traveled is not equivalent each time. Number three, a rabbit and turtle are in a race. Is the relationship between distance traveled and time proportional to either one? If so, write an equation that represents the relationship. The turtles run a distance of 108 to 2. That's a 54 to 1 ratio. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 108 divided by 2 is 54. A distance of 405 and 7 and 5 tenths minutes. 7 and 5 tenths minutes divided by 7 and 5 tenths equals 1. And 405 divided by 7 and 5 tenths equals 54. So this is also a ratio of 54 to 1. 10 divided by 10 is 1. And 540 divided by 10 is 54. So this is also a ratio of 54 to 1. And finally, 32 and 75 hundredths divided by 32 and 75 hundredths equals 1. And 1,768 and 5 tenths divided by 32 and 75 hundredths is 54.
For the turtle's run, the relationship between distance traveled and time is proportional. And now for the rabbit. Distance traveled 800 meters to the time in minutes. One minute, 800 to one. Time in minutes, five divided by five equals one, and 900 divided by five is the same as 180. This is a 180 to one ratio. We can already tell that the relationship between the distance traveled and the time is not proportional for the rabbit's run because 800 to 1 is a different ratio than 180 to 1. So now we need to write an equation that represents the relationship of distance and time for the turtle's run. The distance is proportional to the time only for the turtle. An equation could be d equals 54t or d equals 54 times t, where d represents the distance traveled in meters and t is the time in minutes. Number four, for each table, answer what is the constant of proportionality? Table A, 14 divided by two is 7, 35 divided by 5 is 7, 63 divided by 9 is 7, and 7 thirds divided by 1 third is also 7. So the constant of proportionality for table A is 7. Table B, 360 divided by 3 is 120. 600 divided by 5 is also 120. 960 divided by 8 is 120 and finally 1440 divided by 12 is 120 so for table b the constant of proportionality is 120. table c 3 divided by 75 that's the same as the fraction 3 over 75 or 3 75ths which can be reduced to 1 25th 8 divided by 200 that's the same as 8 over 200 which can be reduced to 1 25th. 61 divided by 1,525. That's 61 over 1,525, and that can be reduced to 1 25th. And finally, 4 tenths divided by 10. 4 tenths over 10, or 4 tenths divided by 10, is 1 25th. So the constant of proportionality for table C is 1 25th. Table D, 10 divided by 4. 10 over 4 or 10 fourths is equivalent to 2 and a half. 15 sixths. 15 sixths or 15 divided by 6 is equivalent to 2 and a half. 55 divided by 22. 55 over 22 or 55 divided by 22 is also equivalent to 2 and a half. And then finally, 7.5 divided by 3. 7.5 divided by 3 is equivalent to 2.5. So for table D, the constant of proportionality is 2.5. Number 5. Kieran and Meyer standing at one corner of a rectangular field of grass looking at the diagonally opposite corner. Kieran says that if the field were twice as long and twice as wide, then it would be twice the distance to the far corner. Mai says that it would be more than twice as far, since the diagonal is even longer than the side lengths. Do you agree with either of them? Twice as long and twice as wide is equivalent to a scale factor of 2. In this case, the rectangle would be 2 times larger. Kieran is correct. Scale the length and width of a rectangle by a factor of 2, and the diagonal will also scale by a factor of 2. 